Oh, somebody's using Fang. How about a double dose of poison? I'll have to give it there. All right, so Venom of Tuesday is using, so he's got a Fang and a Bison. Interesting. Again, Bisons are not really fond of fighting grapplers like Laura, Alex, and Mika, so I respect the change. And Fang, I mess around with Fang a little bit sometimes, and I, I do feel he's an underrated and underrepresented character. He's got interesting tools. I feel people have just been looking at him wrong because all they want is damage from this guy. They're not looking at the mechanics properly that he has, and it's by poison. Put poison on the screen and literally slowly deteriorate, make your opponent's health like diminish real quick, dissipate. That's all you want. You don't really have to go in for that big damage because it's simple combo. Stand roundhouse, crash, speedy punch into uh, light Satoja. That does the work for you. And you have to realize that all of Fang's combos pretty much send uh, the opponent across the screen so you can throw out more Nishikus, more V skill poisons. Look, this character is fun. And some of those mix ups there with the, the dash into the stand roundhouse. Jeez Louise, man. Gotta be careful of that. Oh wow, good block. I I don't agree with that jab there, but hey, he blocked in time as well. Whoa, okay, damn. Geese premium costume is uh, okay. I respect it. Yeah. Waifu <laughs> Waifu first is real with the costumes. Hey, look, I, I swear they've accentuated some of the, the the females' features on some of these costumes, boy. But look. I, I do like Nikali's one. Nikali's uh, battle outfit is pretty sick. So is Nash's. But I, again, I like the aesthetics of this game. So, Look, um, well, yeah, with Fang, Fang's a very buttonsy guy. When he's in, he can press a lot of buttons because he's safe. He's got a move that pretty much low profiles a lot of things in this game. He's got a very good view reversal. It's not a hit. It just gets him out of trouble. And it, it, it literally does a real life shimmy. If you want to see a shimmy, just use Fang to reverse. And again, he can control the corner really well here. Oh my god, good confirm from Venom of Tuesday. That's probably why the irony behind his name, Venom of Tuesday. <laughs> Putting out that Venom. Take the poison. He's going to take an SPD and he might take another one. Whoa, good flash job. Great reaction there to the view reversal there. Because obviously air stomp from Alex, the explosion is plus two. So great reaction to overhead. The Mr. Miyagi chop, I call him, uh, from ill damage. Venom of Tuesday can take this round. He needs to build a little bit of meter though. There we go. He's got the meat he needs. Take the poison? Yeah. That's good. Because, guys, with the, with the Fang's V skill, it's got no hit stun on block stun, so people shouldn't be really scared of it. You should just walk into it, to be fair. Because it, once it's off the screen, you don't have to worry. We don't have to worry so much. And it gets the instant overhead, the jumping medium kick. From Venom of Tuesday, taking Fong the first game. Wins. He's going to do a little dance for you guys. Mm -hmm. Fong wins. I'm telling you, if if he gets a if he gets a damage increase next year, I reckon he will be in the upper echelons of the game. But again, Fang is underrated. Um, I really like how he works. I like his super. Um, obviously, the trades he gets off Nisha Qs if they hit, trade or something. The fact that he can uh, beat trigger cancel his sweep and get a, a decent confirm. Obviously, he's got one crush counter button, which is stand uh, hard punch. I'm saying he's only got one because I'm excluding uh, all crush counter sweeps uh, to do a hard knockdown because that's a universal thing. So yeah, he's, he may be a linear character in some sense, but look, some of the setups and the meaties, set plays he can do, like look, Fang is a really interesting character. I probably should uh, use him a little bit more than I do now, actually. And I do like this color as well. He should get an orange one, so he looks like he's part of like the Z Fighters from Dragon Ball Z. That'd look really cool. Right, walks into the V skill there, but he gets the EX slash elbow. That's got armor, but he doesn't activate until the third frame. All right, good block. Flash. Yeah, I, I I don't get how Fang became number two Shadowloo, mate. But good confirm there. Great damage from Venom of Tuesday. And you got to remember when you're ending combos in uh, what's it, Ryu Bendar or Satoja, just look at the position that it leaves the opponent. They're always across the screen, so it gives you free V skills, free Nisha Qs. Unless the opponent has a move, they can dash back in. It literally generates space for Fang. He's not a prominent zoner. That's not his entire like 100% game plan, but he's got strong zoning capabilities. All right, Ryu Bender set it up. Just a poisonous cloud there, an anonymous cloud, setting up a wall so that ill damage has to be forced to jump over. But he gets out via the EX Stomp. Look at all these buttons. He's a buttonsy guy. I'm telling you, Fang should be in Mortal Kombat. It's a buttons again. And good confirm of the crush counter sweep. Literally more than Alex right now gets the shimmy. Shim Shim Sharu the roundhouse. I hate it. 
And Samran has his plus one on block Fun as wins. well. And the thing is, guys, uh, for those of you who don't know, if... So when you're poisoned, right, obviously when you make contact with Fang, when you hit him, uh, it takes away the poison effect. So that's gone, right? So it also counts when you trade with him as well. So if you can find a way to trade blows with Fang, the poison Round effect one. that's on you will disappear as well. Fight. So that's in case anybody didn't know that. And obviously, if he does, if he does a block string into Nishi Q, have have a move that can trade with it, uh, so you can interrupt the block, block string because it's not a true string. And true strings in this game are very sparse. They're like they're not here. Good low profile slash elbow. He could have pushed that with a follow up, I believe. He goes in, lands in front. All right, try to go for the meaty hawk again. We all bend down. There we go. Look at all these buttons. The offensive pressure here. Keeping Alex in check. The stun's racking up as well. The poison's not going away. Ill damage. Really find it hard. But he gets out now. All right. Try to go for the meaty. And he follows it up as well. I think you should... I'm not, I'm not sure Alex's option select for EX uh, Nikan Kyaku. I think that's the name of it. I'm not sure if Alex has an option select into a throw against um, Fang's DX dash. I know Mika has one into a target combo. I'm not sure what Alex's one is. And he keeps walking in to poison his effects. Literally, find this guy a Final Fantasy antidote. Find him the antidote, please. He needs it. SPD, and he... Oh, he's done the light one. If he'd done the fierce one, he would have won. Uh, and the instant air jump medium kick. I felt ill damage knew that was coming. He just reacted a little bit late. Take the poison. Again, walking out. He's literally in and out, shaking it all about. He's in there, goes to the cross up jump like again, interesting block. Wasn't expecting that. But again, ill damage finds himself in the corner. Really putting up the pressure here. He lands behind. And again, good V skill. Now Alex's oh it's not good V skill. Alex's V reversal is the slowest in the game. It starts up in 23 frames when the usual start up for V reversals are 15 to 16 frames. I know Chun Li, Ken, and Ryu and Zangief have the fastest, so I believe are 10. So all right, gets the damage he deserves and the follow-up looking real good. My Lord Bison! He ain't here to save you. You gotta learn today. There you go. All right, gets the trade again, but he quick rise, good. Wake up crouching fierce, anticipating the jump and anti-airing. Oh, that punish sweep. Yeah, punish it. Get the damage you deserve. Good stand jab, anti-air as well. Fang's got a good stand anti-air jab actually i know it starts up in four frames but it is really good all right this is like a dalsin versus heat matchup uh, sort of i i feel dalsin has a better job because he's got longer limbs obviously but then again venom of tuesday and fang don't have to move from this spot they're in right now alex has to expend meter to get in he can dash but it's not worth it and the super birdman what happened to that boy there you go. Oh no, he missed it! Oh! Damn. Got a little bit overzealous there. With Fun that. Wins. Super. So is that is that it? Damn. I was too I was too immersed into this set. Has Venom of Tuesday taken that 3-0? Oh? That was a clean set. Clinical execution. Great pressure. I told you, Fang is really good. And if you pick him against certain characters, I really feel you accentuate what the character is about and what he's supposed to do in against the vast majority of the characters. If you want to against someone like Nakali, or maybe Mika, or um, I don't even know who else, uh, maybe Nash, then it looks kind of bad. But like Fang does really well against half these characters.